What's happening guys, Jet Teeley here, and I wanna show you a really great dish that I call spicy tangerine beef, and, and we getting fancy. This is a beautiful piece of filet mignon. Take the filet, and I want you to cut it in half lengthwise first, and then I'm gonna slice it into nice thin tiles. And now I'm gonna show you how to marinate this as well. Uh, let's put the beef in the bowl. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick hand wash. I mean, look, it's important because you're touching raw meat to make sure all your surfaces are clean and sanitized. Um, okay, back to marinating. Cornstarch is the secret to that Chinese takeout delicious slippery beef. It's gonna take the soy sauce that we're putting in here, Panda Brand Premium Cooking Soy Sauce by Lee Kum Kee. It is my go-to everyday soy sauce. Although it's cooking soy sauce, you really can kind of use it for everything. That's gonna add salt, it's gonna add savoriness, it's gonna add deliciousness. Uh, and you're gonna use a little bit of a neutral oil. It's gonna kind of pre-lubricate this meat so it browns very nicely. Um, it's also gonna mix with the soy and absorb into the meat to keep it nice and moist. All right, meat, cut, marinated. Time to move on to making sauce. Uh, let me introduce you to the uh, Chucho style chili oil. First thing you're gonna see is this intense red color oil. It's a really beautiful kind of medium hot, uh, very garlicky. Look at that, oh, look at that. It's like chili jam. Oh my God. That's the deliciousness right there. You put that on a piece of toast, put roasted in the oven, and you're kind of in heaven. Uh, it really is a delicious um, uh, chili sauce slash condiment. We're gonna back that up with hoisin sauce. You're like, what is hoisin sauce? Imagine, if you will, the fermented soybeans that go into soy sauce, but you take away a ton of that salt. It is more of a sweet, a slightly tangy, savory product. So those are the two Lee Kim Kee products. Let's back that up with a few things. A bit of uh, ginger. I like to use sherry wine. Um, if you don't have sherry, uh, you're, it's quite okay. A little bit of a sweet white wine will work as well. And then you gotta put some honey in here. Again, see how thick this is? This is that kind of thick viscosity that's going to coat the meat really well and, and become this gorgeous kind of pan glaze. And you can't have tangerine beef without tangerine juice. So uh, just a little bit of uh, tangerine juice. So there it is, friends. That's my spicy tangerine sauce. All right, let's get the wok. Fire this all up. We've got the beef marinated. We've got our sauce ready. And all we're adding to the game here is some carrots and onions. So this pan has been preheating. It's gonna happen really fast. So oil and beef are gonna enter the pan quickly. What I'm looking for is some white smoke on the pan. I'm gonna go right in with the beef. Always pour away from you, just in case you do get a splatter. This is gonna keep you safe. So now down and away. Let the meat cook up, let it brown. Brown food tastes good, y'all. All that means is caramelization. Caramelization brings out sugars. Sugars brings out umami. And anytime you add an ingredient, it cools the pan down. So if I can get at least one side nice deep brown, like I've got here, I can start thinking about what goes in the pan next. Carrots, so those are gonna go in first. Now watch, I'm just gonna let them kinda do their thing. I'm not messing with the actual meat. I'm just gonna let the meat sear up. I want a nice brown sear. Okay, I think it's time for the first toss because I've got a nice amount of browning everywhere. I've got onions after the carrots. I'm looking for a few things here. Beef seared on both sides, check. Carrots have gone kind of translucent, check. And now finally these onions are gonna get kind of translucent. And I'm about 10 seconds away from them. So let's check out our sauce. Let's make sure the chucho chili oil and the hoisin are in there mixed with all the other ingredients. Let's get that sauce in there. Add a little bit of cornstarch slurry. This is gonna pull the sauce together. You gotta make sure, make sure to mix in your cornstarch. Wish there was smell-o-vision because I'm smelling like garlic and citrus. Oh my God, roasted onions and chili. This is amazing. A little salt and pepper. Look at that, perfectly cooked tangerine beef. Uh, so the stir fry's done. I'm gonna bring in all the accoutrement. I'm gonna plate it up and uh, we're gonna eat this. I'm serving this tangerine beef today with a little bit of broccoli and some white rice. That's gonna go right over the top there. Oh man. Delicious on its own, but I'm all about garnish. And I really like a little bit of sesame seeds here. Uh, I love scallion. And another fun note is to use citrus zest. What I'm doing is just taking the, the piece of the skin on top that has color in it. That's called the zest. Under the zest is called the pith. And that's it. That's what I'm talking about right there. 
And I'm a chili head. Another way to use the chucho style chili oil is as a condiment. So I'm gonna get in and not worry about the oil so much, but look at that particulate. Look at all those chili bits. Those delicious chili bits. I add this to uh, curries, I add it to soups. Um, I add it to straight fried rice when I'm making spicy fried rice. It is outstanding. Well, there it is, my friends, my spicy tangerine beef. I hope I've added some really new fun things to your pantry. Um, hoisin sauce is not just a dipper, it's a stir fry sauce. And uh, chu chow style chili oil is delicious. Play with it. I'm Jet Tealy. If you like this recipe, you're going to find way more like it at lkk.com. Until next time, we'll see you later.